all right hello everyone and peace of christ to all of you i hope my voice is coming good and clear please invite your friends and today our topic uh, you know about many things uh, all of them they end with one thing islam is the problem and because of the problem of islam you know we cannot have peace and nobody will have peace and the iranian who they are an islamic government and i'm talking about the government now not about the people there's many iranian they don't believe in islam and they don't want islam actually they reject islam and I believe sooner or later Iran is going to turn away from this cult. The Iranian regime decided to take revenge. Revenge, which is something taught in the Quran. The Muslims believe in revenge. They don't believe in forgiveness. And, uh, but forgive who? I mean, they're a criminal who was killed. He killed thousands of people, if not hundreds of thousands. Uh, but they decide to take revenge for killing their butcher and because they are in a chaos they are they are ter terrified you know we spoke yesterday about how they send to Trump in advance telling him we are going to hit this base please take away your soldiers uh, they send the messages through uh, the, the uh, foreign minister of Qatar who was actually he, he did even visit them and through the Iraqi uh, uh, foreign minister and defense minister so they contacted the American and they told them we are going to leave and the Iranian they are saying to us they are going to hit the space and they told us to tell you so uh, you know the American they empty the base there's no there is no American in that base actually there's none no Iraqi there's only the guards so it was a stupid show just to make it look like okay we are going to seek revenge uh, today the head of the uh, islamic guards revolutionary guard as they call themselves he said oh well what happened we don't want really to kill american we wanted only to hit the buildings so he admitted that they shot and not the purpose is to hit any american but you know remember the Iranian regime, they say, they are going to make the blood of American all over the Middle East. Even their TV says 80 American get killed. But then when they got busted, they have to admit that it was, this is what happened. Not even one American died. But look what happened. Those terrified army, because they are scared to death from the American, they start shooting at anything in the sky and sadly an airplane full of civilian and by the way all of them they are Iranian including the Ukrainian uh, crew uh, there's maybe four from Afghanistan the rest they have citizenship of Canada etc but they are Iranian which means everybody is Muslim so look what they did to themselves they wanted to seek revenge from America and they killed their own citizen in the same day, Iran suffered from two earthquakes. The same day, two earthquakes and one civilian air airplane full of civilian who they are Iranian, 90% of them, they die. No, they are not Canadian. Those are not Canadian. All of those, uh, they, they say there is a Swedish and there is Canadian. Those are Iranian who uh, have a citizenship, you know, of Canada. So look what they did themselves. They wanted to take revenge they got humiliated they did not dare to to, to attack the american they attack an iraqi base which is empty and they shot an airplane full of poor civilians i mean how disgusting this regime is you know have you ever heard of a regime when i launch an attack against different army you don't stop I mean flying zone don't don't you say there's no more fly that's it I mean can't you st can't you wait I mean can't you say to all airplanes don't fly now we will not allow you stupid the out of uh, come of those crises you see in the Middle East we say don't take a friend until you beat him so I think uh, uh, you know Iran is going to seek a friendship with USA but under the carpet because they are bankrupt you see all this show it's 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 stupid it's funny 
I mean, you don't dare to attack American because if they want to attack American, by the way, there's an American base is less than 50 kilometers away from the Iranian Jordan uh, borders. So you do not need to send uh, one, you know, far away, you know, in the middle of Iraq. And it's not an American base. It's an Iraqi base. So the show is stupid. They want to they wanna show their own people for like for local consumer uh, propaganda that we are going to, you know, attack the American. Look what we was doing. Attack the American. Like when I heard the news, I said, like, what does have? Really? They are attacking? Really? I mean, I could not really believe it. I mean, this is really uh, crazy. Because we knew that if 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 one American soldier get killed, Trump he will respond. And this is why. Let me see if I can find you the the, the news where this guy he said it clearly. We did not want. This is not what the purpose of the attack. We did not want to kill any American soldier. Um, revolutionary guard. Said we don't want. Let us see. <clears throat> I saw the news in the in the Pharisee website. Let's see if we can find it in English. Anyway, so he said clearly that our hit was not to kill American, but to destroy buildings. So all this shouting and saying Allahu Akbar and promising the people uh, was was uh, was for what? No. Well, I'm trying to find his uh, statement. Hmm. Anyway, I can't can find it in Arabic easy, but it uh, looks like I cannot find it in English. Uh, but it's not a big deal. You can. So they have many Ar American target, and they did not hit any of them. They hit an Iraqi base. Just to show that we are brave and we can fight America, but you did not fight America. Trump in the morning when he spoke, he don't have any excuse to go in war. You know he have many people oppose war in USA, and nobody got killed. So what he will say? I'm going to attack or go in war in Iran because they killed our soldier. They did not kill any. They did not even kill a chicken, not even a chicken. Nobody died. Nobody injured. So, but in the top of that, those cowardly, uh, filthy, uh, revolutionary, Islamic revolutionary, whatever they call themselves, they shut down the airplane and they are trying to deny even such a thing happening. They refuse to give the black box in the airplane to the Ukrainian because obviously is going to the, they are going to the, you know actually there's a video the video you know from the first day I said they shut it down people they say no it fell down I said if you watch my video three days ago you will see I said the Iranian they shut down a civilian airplane <clears throat> and you know based in uh, based in what no we know about Islam the Muslim they say everything happened by the will of Allah correct and there's tons of verse by that okay so the iranian are muslims uh, fighting the kuffar by the will of allah the muslim they shot the muslims why any muslim can tell me if everything happened by the will of allah and those are muslims fighting the kuffar the christians the jews whatever you call them why allah made the Muslim shoot Muslims and kill them. Any Muslim can explain to me? This is by the will of Allah. So you want to shoot the American instead of you shot the, 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 the Iranian and you killed more than 170, 180? That's mean Allah is the one who killed them. Why? 
I mean, people, they keep talking about World War III, World War III. I mean, this is Iran. It's a potato country. America can eat it without even oil. What, uh, with, no, with no fry, like sushi. What uh, World War III, what those people are talking about? I mean, people are weird. Iran is a very weak country. You know, Iran can, you know, this, this, those missiles, uh, Trump, he can demolish the whole country in two seconds before he drink his coffee. We know that. Imagine, actually, imagine if Iran is the one who have the power of America, what they will do. Just imagine. They don't have power and look what they are doing. They have nothing and look what they are doing. So imagine if they have the power of America. Imagine if the, <laughs> the, the mullah of Iran is a Trump. His name is Mullah Trump. Hmm? Imagine what will happen to the earth. Those people will destroy, they will burn everybody. We are lucky that the one have the real power are civilian. I mean, they are civil nations and they are Christians, majority of them. You know, those crazy people, the, the, this revolutionary fart, whatever they call themselves, they fooled the poor naive ones in Iran and they send them to war, they die, and then they told them, okay, the, the Khomeini, when he have a war with Iraq, in Iraq, he told the, the, the fighters, the soldiers, he was giving each one of them a key. You believe it? They start, you know, when you join the army to go to war in Iraq, eight years, nine years war. When you join the army, they give you Quran and they give you a key. What is this key for? Anyone knows? Anyone knows what this key for? Why they are giving them a key? You are going to war, a key for what? <clears throat> Any Muslim have an idea why they are giving them keys? What, key for uh, mailbox? Key for the heaven. Key for the heaven. Everyone he hang up in his neck a key to go to heaven. The virgin are waiting, they have no panties. Right now, Soleimani himself, he is busy. You know, he have no time even to uh, to say hello. Like dragon 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 dun dun dragon 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 dun dun dragon 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 dun 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 Soleimani 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 What's your name? I cannot talk. Sorry, I'm busy. Dragon 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 dragon. He cannot talk. Actually, he will be holding his address. He will be wearing Arabian dress. He will hold it between his teeth during the time he's doing boom boom. He will not have time even to say hello. All right. Good morning, David. How are you? Good morning, everybody. There's many people. They say to me, "Hello, good morning." Sorry, I apologize. Really, when I'm concentrating in something, like I try not to, but I apologize. Some of you says hello. Please forgive me. I don't mean to uh, ignore you. How the green birds use a key? Oh no, the green bird uh, is this is uh, Sunni. No, Sunni. They have different hadith. The Shia. They don't believe there will be a green bird. No. The Sunni, like Osama bin Laden, he will be a green bird. I mean, he can have sex with his beak, you know. Why not? Technology. Technology. This is, um, uh, you know, Allah. You know, Allah, he can make it happen. Right? I'm not sure about how many versions he got. I'm afraid he got nothing. <laughs> You know, he might land in land in the in the you know in the land of Sadum and Gamora. I don't know where he will land. <laughs> Are you going to ban me again? The dawn? Hey, dawn, I don't know. I ban people who say stupid things. Are you stupid? Are you saying stupid things? If you say stupid things, you know, you know, you became a kid, I will ban you. I have no time for kids. Um <clears throat> If you all call yourself prince, you claim that you are king, then princes become kings. 
but we have only King Jesus. You are not a king, Satan. Also, yeah. You see, I will be. I think you have you eat too much uh, hummus and you have a diarrhea. First of all, my name is a Christian prince, which means by Christ I'm a prince. Secondly, obviously you are an idiot and you are here for no reason. If you think I am Satan, so why you are here, you dummy? And you are no Christian. A Christian, he will never attack a person, defend the Christ against cult. But you are a filthy person, jealous, and you are angry. From what? I don't know. I do not know. But this is your business. Isn't it obvious that this is a nickname, you, you, you donkey? Christian prince, you are not a prince and you will be king. What king? My car is like a donkey. I mean, what's wrong with those people? It's a nickname. And I spend the day defending Christ and Christianity and you are telling me you are no Christian. Who are you? You did not even spend one hour in your life to defend the truth. And yet you are talking about against me. For you are a filthy creature. Isn't it funny? I mean, those people, they don't even... Like, okay, click at his channel. Let's see how many videos he have to explain the Bible and to bring people to Christ. He have none. He didn't do nothing. Jealousy. Why those people are listening to this guy? His name is Christian Prince. You know, why they are listening to him? He is jealous. My friend, they are not listening to me. They are listening to the truth. They don't even know me. You see, if I'm a person who is seeking a glory of his own, I will show myself in camera. I will tell my name so people will remember my name. One day I will die. Nobody knows who is a Christian Prince. Who is this guy, Christian Prince? None of you saw him. Nobody, you know, the, the Messiah said, if you give with the right hand, don't let the other hand know. Anyway, yeah, he's gone. He's a, he's a, he's a shish kebab. Uh, by the way, there is one of you sent me an email, said to me, I heard you like you are willing to join the army. I was in the army. Uh, but again, I said I wanted to join the army if a war happened. He said to me, but this is, this is not, uh, uh, I mean, this is contradict the Bible. The Bible te teach peace. My friend, the Bible teach peace. This is true. But who said that in the Bible it doesn't say you can go in war and defend yourself? Who said that you can go in war and stop evil? The Bible says don't do evil as they do. Don't fight evil by evil, which means if they rape, we will not rape. If they are thieves, we will not steal their money. So don't don't mis mistranslate or uh, give interpretation to the Bible in a wrong way. I mean, the God of the Jews is the same the same God as our our God. And how many wars the Jews? Uh, our Lord, He supported them. Isn't it the Messiah? He says the one who don't have a sword go and buy one. So Christians, they have a very wrong understanding about Christianity. They think, okay, Jesus, he said, if somebody hit you on the right cheek, give him the other one. My friend, this is not about giving your cheek so that people can beat you. No. In the time of Christ, there was a law, a Roman law, which is funny law. It says if somebody hit you in this cheek, he go to jail. It might be funny law for you today, but this is what it was. So what Jesus saying to them, well, use the law. You are living in a civil state. This is not about war. This is about a guy. He sell you in the street. He hit. You. Don't be violent and hit him back because that will make you too bad. Call the police. But Jesus himself, he says, the one who don't have a sword, go and buy one. They said to him, "We have to." He said, "That's enough," which means to defend yourself, not to make a war. All right. So anyway. Uh, Always, always when somebody, when I give uh, interpretation for the Bible, you have to read the whole book, not just a, 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 a statement. Uh, the Messiah, he blessed those who spread peace, and he is the king of peace. But doesn't mean that he, the Messiah himself, he will come one day, and he will have a war, let us say. I mean, what kind of war was going to be? It's, it's going to be one side war, which means all mankind either will be sent to hell, or will be saved. I mean, so you have an idea that the Messiah, 
because he teach peace and he's about peace, he will not really uh, be, let us say, violent. Because sending you to hell is violent. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what the Messiah he said? The Messiah he said that when 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 he come in the glory of his with, his, with the glory of his glory and his angels, he will say, "Bring them in the front of me and slay them." Did you read the Bible? Bring them in the front of me and slay them. And the slay here is not not about cutting your head. They will send you to hellfire to live for eternity. All right. So let us not let us not to be a fool and uh, read the Bible carefully and be smart. Uh, Jesus did not come with fantasy that people can beat you. No way. Actually, if you are a Christian and you see somebody beating somebody and it's not fair fight and you did not defend the one who is weak, you are no Christian. So, you know, what some Christian, they say they refuse violence totally. Okay, let us say there's a guy, he enter your house and he want to rape your wife. So what do you do? Like he is raping your wife and you tell him about Jesus now? This is what Jesus taught you? <laughs> I mean, very weird understanding. The Bible is, read the Bible, it's in the front of you. Read the Bible in the front of you, it's there. They have no idea what they are talking about. They think Christianity teaching us like to be Santa Claus. This is not true. The world is full of evil. So, based on you, Christianity should refuse police. We should not have police. Police is haram. I mean, you have to be stupid to believe in that. Police is haram. Halam, halam, police. Halam, halam, brother. Yeah, because we are peaceful people. Are you stupid or what? I'm not calling the guy stupid. I'm saying, think about it. Just use your brain. We are peaceful, but doesn't mean we are not allowed to defend ourselves and to fight evil. But we will not be evil like them. This is the difference. All right. Yeah, this guy, like he, he will come back. <laughs> you know, this is the guy you 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 dump him in the <laughs> you dump him in the sink. He come from the shower. Come back. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, Mr. Andy, those who used in Indonesia the word Allah, this is because they are under the influence of an Islamic majority. And we, we understand that, but this is very wrong. Uh, you know, the Arab, I am an Arab, in the Middle East, Arab Christian, they use the word Allah too. Even in the translation of the Bible, which is a false translation, they use the word Allah. But still, this is false. Because you see, at the end of the day, any name you use for God is not exist in the Bible is a false name. You know what I mean? We cannot find this Allah in the Bible. If it is in translation, well, this the translator is a liar. Right? As simple as that. You should not use a name other than the name of the Lord. Like the Bible, use use name like Elohim. You know, I mean, there is there is certain... By the way, even those are not names. You see, when, when Moses asked the Lord, uh, he said to him, Who are you? What I will tell my people. He said to him, What is equal in Hebrew, which people think it's a name, you know, he said to him, I am who I am. So, I am who I am became, became for many people, they recite the word in Hebrew and they say, Okay, this is not a name. This is not a name, really. This is, a, this is how he called himself, yes, but this is not a name. However, there's no name can describe and there's no name exist for the Lord because there's no name that can describe him and there's no name can give it give give the Lord the glory he deserves this is why the Jews they avoid always to to call our Lord by any names they don't have a names for them like for him like they say Hashem they say Adonai they say Yahweh they say Elohim but those are not really names all right. Uh, not like the God of Islam, he have like names and their names are funny. All right. 
we have always to uh, to understand what the Christianity is about and don't take a Christianity out of uh, out of uh, what it is about you know yes Christ is about peace he loved peace but there is no way Christ he said that if somebody when Arabia your wife you know just watch that is evil actually this is this is this is if you do that you are a criminal you are not only not a Christian you are a criminal yourself right now Yahweh is not his name Yahweh is not his name Yahweh it's the word where it's explained who is he but it's not really a name even it says like my name is etc but this is not a name all right this is not a name there is nowhere in the Bible that God he have a name this is what we call him by for he he said that about himself but it is not a name all right anyway we go back to our topic here uh, you know first first I feel sorry for all those uh, civilian who died even they are Muslims or what they are a human being they have family and you know we really feel sorry for them I, I saw a guy he got married and he went in with his bride to see his family in Iran I mean how in the world do you go to Iran I will never go to Iran even if I'm there even if I'm born from from that country even if I am an Iranian I will never go to a country under the rules of those crazy mullahs I will never do that because you might disappear they might kill you you might say a word you know because there there's no I mean if you, you might you might say a joke you see in the Middle East there's many people they get disappear for saying a joke you cannot say a joke they will take anyone will report you to the secret police he said this he said this even if it's mean nothing they will make it about the king or about you know you disappear you are gone no, nobody will hear about you again somebody saying they died because of a Trump you say don't this is why I ban you because you are stupid why why who is the one who shot the airplane Trump you see how stupid you are Trump he shot the Iranian they killed many American soldiers Trump he shot one of them okay so what is the excuse for you to shoot an airplane full of civilian and they are Iranian I will tell you what because you are nervous and you are scared and you are terrified anything is moving in the sky you shot it even if it's a video airplane right they will do nothing <clears throat> first of all don't say Canadian government you don't have a government in Canada Canada I mean this guy Trudeau is a is a is a is a prime minister this guy is a, is a kid this guy is even he cannot even run a restaurant When you see Canadian government, like I, I, I want to believe you. What government? And Ukraine is a poor country. You know, they are poor, very poor. They are very weak. They are very poor. You know, European, they lied to them. They told them, we will make you uh, join European Union if you leave Russia. And we will make you join the NATO and you will become rich. And the foolish Ukrainian believed the European. And until now they are waiting. They will never join European Union. They will never be rich, and they are bankrupt. This is what happened to you when you trust those, you know. I mean, what her name? Merkel. If this is if this is a leader of Germany, I mean, what about the rest? <clears throat> anyway, why you defend U.S. so much? They have done many crimes, not as ma many as Islam, but still, you know, Hale, Hale, can you tell me the crimes the USA did? What is the crime they did? I like what? Islam killed 80 million Indian just in India alone. 80 million Indian in India. So tell me now what the American crime was using nuke Japan is the one who attacked America if Japan did not attack America America never attacked Japan and they never even joined the war stupid talking 
I mean, those people, they are just anti-America. It doesn't matter what America do. They hate America. Maybe they are jealous. Right? How if God send you there to Iran? Question, CP. How if God send you there to Iran? Well, I don't know what you mean. You mean maybe like God, he wanted me to be in Iran? Well, I'm saying I will never go there. But if God send me, God send me. <laughs> you see, here we go. God already, he made me born in Arabian countries. So I'm not, uh, you know, Arabian country is worse than Iran. Trust me, it's way worse than Iran. I mean, Iran is having comparing to the Arabian land. Living in an Arab country is like, it's, it's like uh, you have to be a wolf. The grocery store is a cheater, a liar, and a fraud. The judge is a fraud. The police is a fraud. The president or the king is a fraud. I mean, who is, how you can live in those countries? And you are telling me, what if God send you? Well, already God, he did that to me. <laughs> no. I never saw corrupt, false, disgusting way of life as they do in the Middle East. And nobody talk about God, about dignity, about ethic as they do. Nobody talk about it as they do. Inshallah, alhamdulillah, all of them they are religious. All of them they are religious. But they are rapists, criminals, cheaters. The police, he will rip you. The you know, imagine, guys, imagine. The phone guy, he come to your house. The phone guy, the, the phone, the cable company. He cut your cable outside the house. And he knock at your door. Hey, hello? Is your phone working? Uh, you check the phone. Oh, no, it's not working. You say, well, uh, make a request, and it's going to take maybe two weeks or three weeks. We will fix it to you, to you. And then what do you do? What do you do? You take some money from your pocket. Please fix it now. Please, we cannot stay without phone. Please. He's the, he's the one who cut it. You know, he is the one who cut it, and he will do it after two weeks again. This is how they live there. This is how they live. So what, what people, you know, what people do not know, that they think that those countries are the same as a country, the like same as USA, the same as Germany. You have no idea. This is hell. This is why you see millions of those who they, they dream to go to Europe. In Yemen, they force little children to wear a chastity belt. Do you know why? Because they will rape your kid. So a kid, before he go out in the street to play, they have a chastity belt, they lock it. Then they are talking about America is bad. What do you know about Iran? Go, there, there is a documentary made by Iranian. Iranian who they are Iranian they are not like making fun of their country go and see how people they sell their kidney go and see how prostitution is number one business go and see how people they sell their blood just to live just to pay for their families so you know this Iranian government have money for nuclear facilities have money to give to Hezbollah in Lebanon have money to give to Syria have money to give to, to Yemen but they have no money for their people yeah, really, you know, just search right now on YouTube. Just leave my channel, go. I don't want you to stay if you, I mean, if, if you like to watch, you can search for the documentary done by an official, you know, journalist, and they are Iranian. She have interviewed with women who they are doing muta, which is prostitution. She go rent herself for a day or two with the old guy. He sleep with her and, you know, she make money. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, they are, you know, they are my friends, Amir and uh, and uh, his brother. I met them in person, you know. Yeah, they are good people. You remember I made a live podcast 
me and Amir and his brother from live in you know, life uh, on air. Remember it from Germany? I went to his house too. <clears throat> yeah, I know him in person. He know me personally too. Uh, can you talk? Can you talk the video about prostitution in Indonesia? I send you. I don't know what you send me. You send me where? Uh, hmm. All right, too many uh, texts to read actually, but I will try to focus in the one which is important. Anyway, you know, those who they never been in the Middle East or they are not from there, they have no idea how people live there. You know, they think it's like there is the same as wherever you live, you know, in Europe or etc. It's it's the land of evil, my friend. It's the land of evil. Everybody want to rip you. You know, you go to buy some tomato. Hmm? They don't let you to pick up the tomatoes. He have to pick it for up for you. He put all the bad, ugly ones down in the case. And then he put the last two, three in the top and they are good. You go home, you find that 90% of the tomato you bought is garbage. Right? Is it right that there are many gays Muslims in middle? My friend, there's a video I, I, I translated made by the Saudi in, this, in the Saudi TV. It says 45% of the people of the city of Jeddah, which is the second city in Saudi Arabia, they have relationship male to male. Go watch the video. And I changed any Muslim to say this is made up. This is official Saudi Islamic TV, and the one who was speaking there, she is a doctor in the in the in the Air Force of Saudi Arabia. Yeah. And you know the the reason uh, homosexuality or even not only that she said having relationship with a family member which means like sleeping with their brother or sister not only sleeping with you know no family family member and the reason for that you know this 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 uh, this cult by separating between male and female so okay you are now home and you cannot meet girls all right and you are a teenage and you have a sister she is a teenage uh, this is the only female you can see. You hear stories about a guy raping his mother. You hear stories about a guy giving his mother some medicine so she will sleep so he can rape her. This is what this taboo religion do. All evil and all disgusting illness, sickness, you know, in relationship and family, you will find it there because you are not living normal life. You see, when you forbid something, that 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 thing will become extremely wanted. Uh, like, what is the reason they have a high uh, uh, num number of uh, lesbian? The, the, a girl in the Middle East, she is not allowed to see a boys, but she can invite her friend, like cousin, let us say her cousin, to sleep over in her room. This is the only thing is allowed. And those are like teenage growing, and they are like you know they have a hormone. And they hear and they see and watch YouTube and etc. So what they do? So this cult destroy everything beautiful in your life. What do you think about homosexuality? Is it accepted by Christianity or not? For sure, you know, you know uh, homosexuality is not accepted in the Bible. This is the teaching of the Bible. But people, they are free to do whatever they want, you see. Uh, you see, homosexuality and uh, fornication and etc. It's all people, they do things. Is it accepting Christianity? Absolutely not. Sin is sin. The change that halal in Islam to kill apostate, non Muslim, inter Islam are allowed to be killed. What is your response to that? Oh, then this guy, he's not, uh, he's not lying. This is the truth. If somebody leaves Islam, he has to be killed. At least he's been honest. You should respect him for that. Most of them, they lie. They say it's not true. 
is cannibalism halal or haram in Islam? Actually, if you go, uh, uh, if you read the uh, uh, the book of, you know, there, there's a there's a video in Minimar. Uh, it's an Egyptian TV, and they are discussing the textbooks in Al Azhar University. Al Azhar University is one of the highest garbage university in the world. And by the way, to join this university, they accept they accept anyone like in the Middle East, like we have like a, you know you, you take high school. So if your grade is not high, you cannot go. You can you cannot just go and be a doctor or lawyer. You have to take a grade which is fit for that degree. In other university, even if you have almost nothing, you can go, which means it's the worst university. They accept anything. Anyway, in their books, they are teaching that if somebody he is a Christian, you have you can eat him, but you have to cook him first. But if he is a Muslim and he is not a praying or he left Islam, you can eat him, but without cooking, you have to eat him raw. Go and watch the video, search a mini uh, TV, you know, and you will find it. No. <clears throat> Inspired by Sheikh Ahmad Didat. Sheikh Ahmad Didat is an idiot. He did not know anything about Islam. I got him busted easy. <laughs> Ahmad Didat. Ahmad Didat is a donkey. Everything he made fun of, it's in the Quran. You know what happened in Ahmad at that time? He was debating Christians who do not know Islam. So he questioned things in the Bible, but it's in the Quran. He's a donkey. He's, he's a certified donkey. And actually, I can give you opportunity to call me right now. I challenge you, and give me a question. Did that? Give me any question you want, and I will show you that did that is a donkey certified one. <laughs> Yeah, certified one. You know, uh, uh, when when somebody he claimed that he want to debate you, uh, uh, that is a very uh, a sneaky person. Like uh, like Shabir Ali, uh, you know, he don't debate someone who knows Islam. And when one day he debated, uh, if you remember, he debated uh, Sharush, and he's Sharush, who's who's an Arab. Sharush, he got him busted, seriously. And then did that he disappeared. He did not come back for the second debate because they had an agreement: first debate today and second debate tomorrow. Did that he ran away. Right? Somebody is someone asking me about the Bible about uh, eating pigs. My friend, the the Jews, they have reasons for to not to eat things, and that is a very legitimate reason. As an example, the pig is not clean. Why? Those pigs. And pigs until now they eat anything so if there is no control of what they eat how you can guarantee to be they to be clean secondly pigs they don't sweat they don't sweat so which means there's some poison in their in their in their meat so uh, uh, the, but number one reason for the Jews not to eat pigs is uh, you know they eat anything they eat even dead body People in that time, people put them in the cross, crucify them, and throw them in the garbage. I mean, we are talking about thousands of years ago, not uh, two years ago. So you have no idea what those animals are eating. They are not like a sheep. We know they are eating grass. Bigs, they eat meat. They eat anything. All right? So I don't know, like you are saying, explain it to me. Does it really need explanation? <clears throat> Because the reason for that eating pigs is, is, is gone now. Now we knew what they are eating. Now we are growing them in farms and they are locked up and they cannot go and eat people or eat dead bodies. <laughs> so now we know what they are eating. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you you explain to people the answer and look at the look at the question. So why Christian? I just told you at that time they are free. They eat even they eat dead bodies. Do you see dead bodies these days in the street? Unless maybe you live in Arabia, that is a different story. <laughs> you live in Syria maybe. Yeah, pigs they eat anything. Pigs they eat anything. 
Ja. Uh, no, you know, see, this is his interpretation. He's following the Old Testament, right? And we explain that the Old Testament is right about about not to eat pigs, and nobody is asking you to eat pigs anyway. So if he didn't eat pigs, he's he's still fine. I mean, this is this is a personal choice. <clears throat> Do you eat pig? Yeah, I eat. I have no problem with eating it. But mostly I eat pork because it's cheap. You know, uh, the beef in the USA is expensive. I can't afford it. It's very expensive here. I mean, compared like if you want to eat good meat, etc. It's expensive. Camel is bad. Camel meat is bad. Camel meat is bad. Camel milk is bad. Everything from the camel is really good, not good. You can go right away to United Nations. You will see that camel, you know, especially milk, is 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 the best place for viruses. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, you know, food, you see, uh, uh, the Messiah explained to us that God, like Sabbath was made for the man, not the man was made for Sabbath. So what you're reading in the Old Testament is for your benefit, not for God. It's, this is not for God. You know, God don't care really. You eat pigs, you want to eat pork, eat pork. You want to eat your finger, eat your finger. Some people even, they eat their, bo their boogers, like Saddam Hussein al Qazafi. They put their finger in their nose in the front of the camera and, and they eat the, the, the booger. So you want to eat, you can eat whatever you want. You know, when, when, when in the Old Testament it says you, eat, you don't eat that and you don't eat. This is not because of God. He's not the one who's eating it. This is for the health for your body. <clears throat> is it allowed in Islam to kill f fish without letting... The bleeding, yeah, the fish, the, the fish is not, uh, yeah, uh, the different animals you have to uh, slaughter them. Acknowledge Sonia Azam Seven. Uh, she is an ex-Muslim from Pakistan, and she is here. Welcome, Sonia. I don't see her. I don't know where is where is Sonia Azam. Mm, I'm not seeing any text. Anyway, she is welcome, you know, all ex-Muslims are welcome and everybody is welcome. <clears throat> we need some fun. <laughs> I see somebody said he eat lobster. Lobster, you see? <laughs> Those who have money, they eat whatever they want. You know? <clears throat> you see, Jesus, he said, it's not what go in your mouth make you dirty. It's what comes from your mouth. Do you agree with that? Do you agree with that? So when we talk about those animals, they are any clean. This is for your health. It's not about making you dirty. It's about they are any clean, which means they have things we don't want. And healthy stuff. So uh, uh, when the Messiah said, it is what comes from your mouth make you any clean, not what go inside your mouth. He's right. And you know, you have to be, uh, uh, this is will answer all your questions. And this is true. Because you know, inside us, like inside you, what do you have right now? Inside you, what you have? It's like inside your belly right now. I mean, we have, we have poo poo. <laughs> Literally. So even if you take a shower, like I just took a shower, actually, this is my annual shower. We take a shower in Arabia once a year. So I took my annual shower. But even if you are in the shower, still you are dirty. Nothing can make you really clean. The cleaning, you know, the word clean is uh, uh, like, a, let us say, percentage cleaning. Like you are talking about the outside. What about your mouth? The mouth of a human being is more dirty than than the than toilet seat. All right. Someone want to call and debate? Who is the one to debate? Who is the one want to call? Can I call and ask my question? Sure, give me your Skype, my friend. <coughs> let me let me go on Skype. 
sorry. <clears throat> we have somebody wanna call us. <clears throat> Okay, text me, Mr. D. That. Here we go. My Skype is open. By the way, I apologize from all those who send me messages in Skype. I mean, it's imp impossible to answer everybody. So I really apologize. Like I opened my Skype, I found like a thousand something. And how you can answer everybody so what is your skype my friend to be sure that this is you mr d that <coughs> what is your skype and tell a funny joke no don't call me to tell me a funny joke sorry islam is funny by itself Okay, here we go. We have the guy who is a. Uh, I think this is the same guy he called and he, you know, he he scream and. Uh, let us see. I don't hear you, my friend. Speak louder. Oh, okay. Say again. What? I wanted to ask a quick question. A quick. Okay, may, uh, so it's a quick question. Why you make? Why? Why you are in a rush? Why you don't want to make it a quick? Um. Yeah. Um. Like, you, just, you, you just. You just. You just. What? I don't hear you. It's Matthew. Matthew twenty-one forty-three. Hmm. What about yeah, it? Yeah, Matthew twenty. What about it? Yeah, um, it says that um, Jesus said, Therefore, I tell you, the kingdom of God shall be taken away from I don't hear you. So say again, what? Jesus said, What? Uh, just uh, just show them Matthew 21 43. Okay, just tell me what you want to say. Yeah, Jesus said the Jews will be replaced with another nation. So, like, the, 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 who? the who? The who? The Jews will be replaced with another nation. I don't understand. Can you, okay, can you type your question for me? I will answer you. Um, yeah, like Matthew 21, 43. Can you hear me? Okay, Matt, you are talking about Matthew chapter 22, right? Chapter 22. Chapter 21, verse 43. Ah, chapter 21, verse number 23. See, I don't even understand what you are saying. All right. So yeah, chapter 21, 43. verse number 23. Okay, and what the question? 43. 23, the verse number 23. Okay, what the question? Yeah, 43, not 23. 43, ah, oh, 43, okay. See, I don't, you, all right, what the question? Yeah, um, Jesus said the Jews will be replaced with another nation, according to your beliefs. Hmm. Um, they were not replaced, they are the chosen people. So are you going to say Jesus is a liar now, or you don't believe this verse? What do you mean? Yeah, um, it says the Jews will be replaced, and do you believe that um, the Jews are still hey, first people. first this is not about I, this is not about uh, the Jews this is not about the Jews will be replaced you are, you, are, you are being funny this is about those who will not accept him because those who believe in Jesus already are Jews all the disciples who believe in Jesus they are Jews so your ignorance is amazing thinking that he is saying all the Jews they will, the kingdom will be not taken from them the fact is not true the fact is the opposite because the Jews are the first to accept Jesus and they are the first to be given the kingdom but Jesus saying to them that you are the chosen one I came to you and those who reject me those they will not be joining me in the kingdom of God and there is other nations who will join us and they will be with me that's what the verse is saying now let me ask you as as long you are the one who mentioned the question did Allah promise the Jews to go to heaven No, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Okay, well, you asked me the question. How come here again? I, I, I give you the answer. I deserve an answer from you. Your God, Allah, He says, and leading in the one Nasara, those who they are Jews and this, those who they are Christians, they will go to heaven and they have no fear. So, did Allah promise the Jews to go to heaven in the time of Muhammad or not? Yeah, He did. 
okay so how the how the jews will go to hell i don't know about that it's left to allah to judge but this verse to me it says that jews will be replaced that's my friend it, okay I, I answer you this is the, this is a silly question and it's not even valid anything else you have copy paste Okay, go to it. So, you know, you're going to take me verse over. I mean, look at those questions, how silly they are. Jesus, he said the Jews will be replaced. No, the Jews were not replaced. The whole world will be replaced. Anyone don't accept Christ will be sent to hell, including Muhammad and you. Jesus said, I am the Alpha, I am the Omega, I am the door, I am the way, I am the life and the resurrection. And nobody will go to the, to the to my father but by me so the only way for all mankind this is not only for the jews and the jews are the most people who accepted the messiah actually who are, who is who is peter who is the disciple who is who is paul i mean if the jews did not accept jesus so who is the one accept him they are actually the one who brought jesus to us if not the jews we are not christian today so you're ignorant that you are limited, you are copy-paste, you don't use your, you use your brain. This, this is the problem with Muslims, they are copy-paste, they don't even read their question. And I find always their, their, uh, their questions kind of silly, even like, like the guy, he did not say anything wrong, but I find it silly. I mean, I feel sorry for you. All right? But we answer you. Uh... <clears throat> Muhammad himself will be the first one to go to hell, if not already is in hell. Because he denied the father, he denied the son, and he misled millions of people, hundreds of millions of people. So his punishment will be severe. And the Jews are human like everybody. You see, when we say they are, they are the people of God, chosen people, because they are the only one at that time was worshipping them through God. As simple as that. But we knew, we knew that there was a time when Adam himself, he worshipped God, and his kids, they worshipped God, and they were not Jews, those are not the Jews. <laughs> so there is people who they are, people of God, since the time of Adam, like Noah. So there is people who chose God, believe in God, and because they are the only one who believe in God, well, they are the chosen people. Why? Because they choose God. You see, the word the chosen one, the chosen person. And the Quran. <clears throat> don't send me guys the questions in the in the in, in Skype, unless uh, <coughs> is that is that uh, is this correct CP or educating the is educating the most. We favored you from all mankind. Quran chapter 2, verse number 47. Do you see it? Guys, this is saying in front of us. Allah saying supposedly, Aka Muhammad, the children of Israel, remember, I favor you and bestowed upon you that I preferred you from all, not other messages, all mankind. This is a lie. It says uh, uh, of my message. No. All other man فضلناكم على العالمين. Change the translation. You will see how the translation change. Potato translations. No, we just change the translator. Look what happened. Look what happened. You click just to change translator. The whole the whole verse changed. I bestowed upon you, and I preferred you to al alameen the muslim they believe believe in two words the word of the human and the word of genie so the jews are the best of not only mankind even the best of the genie <clears throat> do you see it so this is why i say that the that is a stupid you know he 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 tried to attack christianity but because he did not know it's written in his book you know this is why if I wish I you know I get him before he die, but you know. He is an officially potato. At this stage, Muhammad he was trying to be a Jew. The Jews rejected him. 
They dump him. They made fun of him. And they show him that he is stupid. And this is the reason scholars of Islam, they don't dare to debate me. The one who tried to make videos to refute me, they are a bunch of idiots. Like there's a guy, he sent me a text uh, or today in the chat. He says to me, uh, who is the one who say Hafs uh, is, a, is, a, is a liar? Who is the one? All of you. You. You Muslims say he's a liar. And the funny, they want to refute me when I am showing the screen. I'm showing their books. Let, let me let me open. Just wait. I show them from their books and then they say, who said that? Who is this guy? You ask me, ask yourself, you idiot. <laughs> who said that? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> hmm. Here we go. We open a book here about Hafs. قال البخاري تركوه وقال إبراهيم بن يعقوب الجوزائي قد فرغ منه من 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 دار you know this guy we throw him away a long time ago he's a garbage وقال مسلم ابن الحجاج متروك his hadith is rejected left alone leave it leave it وقال علي I mean all of those they are saying وقال النساء and then will say to me who is the one said that? He is not trustworthy. And then you see a guy like this guy, Fifi and Mimi, they want to uh, refute Christian prince. They say, who are those scholars? An -nasa -an -nasa Ibn Hanbal, he said the same. Ibn Hanbal. You know, Ibn Hanbal is one of the leaders. Uh, uh, the Muslim Sunni are four sect. Four sect. One of them is Hanbal. Ibn Hanbal, he said, is a liar. So, I mean, look at them. وقال النسائي. ليس بثقة ولا يكتب حديثي حديثه. He is not trustworthy and his hadith will not be even written. Hmm? وقال مرة متروك. <تصفيق> وقال محمد صالح بن محمد البغدادي لا يكتب حديثه وحديثه كلها مناكير. All his hadith is a lie. And then they say to me, where, who says that? Look, I show it in the screen. I open their books. I show the page number. I show the name of the book. And then they say to me, well, this is not true. This is the name of the book. And this is the page. And this is your Muslim books. And this is your scholar saying that. And yet they will say to me, it's a lie. We are going to refute the Christian prince. Christian Prince is lying to you. Madness, man. Christian Prince is lying to you. Everything I say, I show it in the screen. So how I can lie about it? Like I'm trying to load the front page of the book. Not only Hafs, the, the one with the Quran, which is written by his hand, is a liar. Even his sons are liars. Look at this. <clears throat> He, the whole family, they are they are a scam, a fraud. Qasim ibn Abdullah ibn Umar ibn Hafs ibn Asim ibn Umar, etc. Ismu Rawi, what he is. Qala anhu Abu Ahmad ibn Adiyya Jarjani. Aamata ahadithihi la mimma la yattaba ala ilam. Don't, don't count his hadith, they are, they, are, they are a lie. His hadith is lifted, is rejected, matruk. Uh, he, you know, he said he is bad and even Al-Bukhari and they will ask me who is Al-Bukhari suddenly they will not who is Al-Bukhari we don't have a scholar in Islam Al-Bukhari uh, his hadith is rejected left uh, etc you know he, he have too much uh, wahm like you know he uh, he say things he imagine things which mean and he uh, 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 he, he flip he flipped the, the like uh, uh, the, the, the reference of those who reported which means his line fabricated uh, here this guy Abu Dawood is saying I never wrote a hadith for him well, I will never even uh, go for it uh, I mean Hadith or all of it rejected, it's a lie. Uh, and then they say to me, Who says those things? Who said those things? Abu al Hajar al Asqalani. The whole family is corrupt. And Asim, the father, which is his stepfather, he is a corrupt too. And this is your book saying that. And they will say to me, Who said that? 
And where I'm reading from? Hmm. This is your Islamic website. Al Jamhara. Where I can read it from? I can read it from tons of books. Hmm. Kana kathaban, and he was a liar. Who is saying that? Who is saying that? Let us read the name of the book. Ibn Hajar al Asqalani. They will say to me, Who is Ibn Hajar? This is one of, one of the biggest famous scholars saying that Hafs is a kazza, which means liar. And they will say to me, Christian Prince, where, who is this guy? We never heard of this guy. <laughs> My friend, if I leave my toes in the chat, you cannot even debate my toes. So how you can debate me? My toes alone. This is why Mimi, he did not dare to debate me. And Fifi, he is hiding behind the table. And Samsi, he don't even dare to say hello. Where are you, Muhammadan? Where are you? Okay, I'm just receiving text. I mean, how I'm going to answer all those people? If you guys, if you see my, uh, if you see my Skype, I mean, it's really scary. I will need like 10 years to answer those people. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Sorry guys, I can't really answer. I really apologize. I'm just looking if there's a Muslim. Until now, I don't see really a Muslim. <clears throat> and you know, uh, going back, by the way, to the question of this guy, just to show you how silly even their mind. He said that the, 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 ver the verse in Matthew 21, it says that the Jews will be replaced. Replaced with whom? What are you talking about? I mean, they don't even know how to read. They don't know how to read. He's that if you don't commit sin, Allah will replace you because your God is a crazy person. I mean, imagine here Jesus saying your kingdom will be taken from you because you've been promised the kingdom. But you have to follow me. Muhammad, he said the opposite. He said, if you don't commit sin, let us see the, the hadith. <clears throat> Here we go. You see the mad Muhammad? Have you ever heard of a God? He will destroy you if you don't commit sin. How that can be true? Hmm? How this is can be true? Uh, just David Wood got destroyed by hijab. My friend, I made videos for hijab and I show everybody that he is he is, a, he is the stupid. He is the one who destroyed his prophet. And you can go watch it and let us see. This is why hijab is so upset from me, making videos, editing them. You Muslim destroy everybody. I mean, have you ever heard of a Muslim talking about anything he don't destroy? <laughs> Muhammad hijab. Go watch my videos and laugh at your Mimi Hijab. Mimi Hijab, his last name, he deserved it. Plus his name is Burqa. Hijab is a Burqa. By the way, not only that, your God, Allah himself, he wear a Burqa. You see, uh, they make a mockery. That's why he don't dare to debate me. Because he cannot make that mockery the same he did with David. David is a very polite person, you know. For me, I will whip the floor with you. Not only with knowledge, but I will, I will know how to deal with him. I am Middle Eastern. They cannot do it. They, they don't dare. This is why when we, we spoke, he promised the Muslim a debate. And when we call, hang up. Hang up on him. And he called me bastard. Filthy. Look how filthy he is. Bastard. Can that guy mute him? <laughs> Where is the debate? Coward. They were very much intimidated. To the point they will not even let me talk. And not only that, they put the speaker of the, the laptop far away from the microphone so nobody will hear me. Right. Yeah, you must have you finish everybody. This is why David Wood, his page have a have hundreds of thousands of subscribers. And this is why Mimi Hijab, each time he go in video, he wanna sell uh, uh, a zucchini for Kini. 
for Kini Faso. I mean, have you ever heard of somebody claiming to be doing missionary? Buy this. Brothers, sisters, buy this. What is this? It's a book? No. What is that? A lotion for what? I mean, you don't, aren't you even ashamed? Merchandise. This is the origin of Islam. Even the Quran says, by the way, Muhammad is better, same as him. Muhammad himself, he described Islam as a merchandise. Shall I lead you to a merchandise? Muhammad said that in the Quran. So Muhammad, he described his religion as a merchandise for buying and selling, while Jesus, he entered the temple and he kicked them out for doing merchandise in the house of God. Islam itself is a merchandise. Hmm? Read it. Chapter 61, verse number 10. Converting to Islam as a merchandise. Do you see it? It's a business. Islam is a business. The Jews rejected and killed Jesus. Well, you know, uh, Mr. Whatever your name. I mean, you Muslim, you say he did not killed, was not killed by the Jews. So, he was killed or not? Are you saying Muhammad is a liar? Secondly, the one who killed Jesus, it was the Roman. Number three, Jesus in the cross, he said, forgive them, Father. They didn't know what they are doing. So what's your problem now? <laughs> Stupidity. But they want to hate the Jews. They hate the Jews, brother. They hate the Jews. They cannot live without hating the Jews. And the funny, the more they hate the Jews, the more the Jews, they flourish. This cult cannot live without hating somebody. They hate themselves. They hate the Hindus, they hate the Buddhas, they hate the Christians, they hate the, the, the Shia, the Shia hate the Sunni. They, 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 they. It is religion of hate. Not only that, in Quran chapter 5 verse number 14, Allah have a job. What is the job of Allah? Allah, he said, I will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians until judgment day. So right now Allah is spreading hatred. He's busy. He have a job. We give him a job. Because of us, he should be thankful. We keep Allah busy every day. What he do? He is spreading hate between the Christians. Read it. This is your faith, ya Allah. If if the one who spread hatred and enmity is Allah, so what Shaitan he do? What Satan is doing right now? Vacation? Obviously, Allah is shaitan. <clears throat> right? Uh, well, Jews rejected Muhammad too. Do Muslims agree with them on that also? I don't know what you mean. <clears throat> Do we have any Muhammadan? This is why I say Islam is a very silly cult, stupid cult. And the fool, how you know the fool? If the fool is, is a quiet, he's not talking. The second he starts talking, he make poo, poo I will give you an example. Allah now is making poo, -poo. <clears throat> Okay. Because how you say, because the Christian, they forgot... A covenant. What covenant? Can you show us? Shouldn't you first of all show us the covenant? Secondly, let us say somebody forget the covenant. Shouldn't you remind him? Help him? While Jesus said, I came for the sick, Allah will make you more sick. Do you see the difference? Jesus said, I came for the sick. By the way, this if of of even like even Muslim scholars they say that too about half about halves of 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 halves. <clears throat> Actually, any verse in the Quran, if you stop with it, you will find it's a, it's it, it's a stupid book. Hmm. <clears throat> uh. 
Uh, I don't know what to say. I mean, I can't really find. <clears throat> I cannot find something good in this book. Any, any Muslim can show me a, a verse in this Quran have a, have some wisdom? Hmm? Did Jesus knew Muhammad personally? <clears throat> I don't know what you mean, but for sure the Lord, he knew everybody. He is the eternal Lord. He knew every one of us. And, you know, Do you agree that Saddam Hussein and Qazafi were good in Iraq and Libya because the region uh, was better? It's, they are not good. They are filthy. But those regions need the criminals. I mean, if you are talking about uh, have have like uh, things in order a little bit, uh, yeah. But uh, they are criminals. Saddam Hussein, he you know he he. Uh, his kids, they drive in the street and they kidnap girls for rape and they rape them and then they throw them in the street. I mean, all of them, they are garbage. Those are garbage people. They are literally garbage. But those countries, they cannot be run unless you have a dictator. They need a dictator. Did Muhammad break any law of Allah? The law of Allah is made by Muhammad. And when Muhammad, he break the law of Allah, that will break will be for his benefit. Let me show you as an example. <clears throat> if you go to the chapter of At-Tahreem, verse number one, Allah said to him, why you are forbidding what Allah had made lawful for you? You know, let us go to the verse. What was that? Muhammad was having sex with his slave, Mary the Copt in the wife in the bed of his wife Hafsa so Hafsa she said to him in my bed and in my day having sex you filthy in my bed so Muhammad he made a, a promise I forbid myself from having sex with my slave after some time Muhammad he got excited again as usual he want to have sex with this woman but he made a promise he forbid you know so he made a verse as usual saying well Allah told me why you are forbidding yourself from doing boom boom with your servant hmm? Allah told me so <clears throat> because Allah told me then Allah questioned me, how you do that, Muhammad? Which means Muhammad, he broke the law of Allah. But the idiot, because he is filthy, he fabricated verses to make it, this is God saying to me. I mean, what is the, why God want Muhammad to have sex with the slave or the servant? What is that? He have already many wives. So he make verses claiming that Allah said to him, why you are doing boom, boom? Why you are forbidding yourself from doing boom boom? And now by making this verse, his wife Hafsa and the rest, they cannot, you know, <laughs> complain. Allah said that. Allah said so. That's it. Allah is like a toy for Muhammad. Anything, anytime he wants something, he says, Allah told me. And if there's any Muslim, he will say, this is not about Mary. Please let him accept that challenge. <clears throat> Stifer dad text me in Skype my friend I don't I will not add you I don't have time to add kids but you can you can text me you can text me in Skype let's see how good you are any Muslim is welcome to call me after I hang up after I you know we go off uh, of air they will they will be heroes as long as I am live and oh, we have a snowstorm coming okay mm -hmm. uh -huh. all right <clears throat> so anyway 
uh, we have is is guy is is this is this time good? I mean, at night, is this is a good time to do it like regularly? I mean, uh, for sure, I will I will try to do it uh, in, in the future more early for those who they are in Europe because those in Europe now are asleep. So I'll try to make maybe like one day for Europe, one day like now maybe. Can you share link for what software? What software? It's a website. This is Quran.com. Uh, QuranWow.com. It's very easy. Quran Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Wow. Uh, yes, this is wow. Really, I like. I like this. The, the name of the website Quran Wow. I mean, obviously, it is wow. Allah, He is saying to Muhammad, Wow. Why? Why you said you will not do boom boom with the servant? I mean, okay, how the servant became lawful for Muhammad? You tell me, Muhammadan. Where in the Quran it says that a servant which is not a prisoner of war, she is lawful. Any Muhammadan? Wow. The website is wow. Wow. Quran wow is why you forbid what is lawful for you wait wait when it was made lawful lawful Mary the Copt is not a slave of war Marikatul Yamin is a slave of war the right hand possessed those are prisoners of war Mary she is not a prisoner of war so how she became lawful for him to have boom boom with her stupid prophet this is a contradiction Can you go two hours earlier? Yeah, I would try. I would try to do uh, like you know an early broadcast for for people in Europe. But these days I'm really busy, so I apologize. Like I'm I'm going live when I'm down from my work. I'm doing a lot of things, you know, very busy. So this is why I'm coming in this time. Otherwise, I will I will come earlier. <clears throat> Yeah, I think this is the Muslim he wanna talk to us, right? Let us see. <coughs> what is your review of Ibn Isha? Uh... Well, you know, all Islamic books, actually, most of the source Muslims we have, they have, they come in from those books. But, you know, even those books are filtered, which means you will not get the truth there. All Islamic books are filtered, which means anything make Muhammad look like an idiot, they took it away. It's a book, just another book. Uh, what, what do you mean what chapter this chapter is chapter 66 verse number one and when you read a translation like Ibn Ishaq translation always are false they are far from being truthful well this guy he did not even answer back so I will block him I don't have time for games My Quran translation, my friend, I'm really, really busy. I wish I, you know, I'm not doing anything in my books right now. So it's going to take some time. Have patient. Have patient. Patient is good. All right. Do we have any, any Muhammadan? And look, look, look how silly this, this verse. Look at this verse. I mean, it's it's not only comedy. It's like this. This is God. This is God is talking. Look at this. Wow. Wow. Roar. And remember, when the Prophet S A W disclosed a matter in confidence to one of his wives, Hafsa. So when she told it to another E Aisha, 
and Allah made it known to him. Like, what the heck is this? This is God talking. This is the this is the, this is the neighbor who is seventy uh, nine years ninety nine years old speaking about making gossip. This is gossip. What this is? This is God. So remember, Allah talking. Allah is talking. And remember, when Adam prophet, he told his wife, and the wife she told the other wife. So the wife told the other wife, and the wife told the wife wife, and then we have Wi-Fi, and then they told the news, and then the news became to known to, no, became known to him. He is the one who told told her this is God if this is God what is a stupidity what is this is a news of gossip <clears throat> you can open it if see you open any you know, you open yourself chapter 66 verse number three <clears throat> it says as you see but they give more details. It's about uh, Aisha having, uh, sorry, Muhammad having sex with Mary the cop. Silly. This is, is no way God will speak about. Look what this is. So when Susu told Fifi and Fifi told Mimi, so Mimi heard the news, and then Allah He said, oh, "Okay, I, I, I made it known to you." <coughs> what is this? <laughs> this is Quran. This is book of God. And the funny they say to you, make a book like it. <clears throat> I need water, right? Actually, I need to go, my friend. I'm really tired. I had I had a long day. <clears throat> Physically tired. <clears throat> anyway, my friends. And my family, my brothers and my sisters, we are victorious by Jesus. This garbage in the front of us, we can demolish it with the fingertips, with our fingertips. This is very stupid books. I mean, this is the most stupid religion ever. Think about it for a second. You see, forget about knowing knowledge. Forget about studying like Christian Prince. Ask yourself, do you think God he will give me versions in the bedroom waiting for me? I mean, this is God. I mean, this is disgusting. In order to accept such a promise, you have to be a filthy, horny creature. This is a promise can be given to a donkey, to a dog, not to a human being. We are human. We have relationship with, 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 with like when when a person he have a female in his life, uh, uh, there is something special. Otherwise, if he is a person jumping from a woman to a woman, that means he's a donkey, he's an animal, he's a dog. So the God who promised us women which we don't even know, we don't even meet, we never saw them, and all of them they look the same. And look, look at the idea that all the women they look the same. So what the point? I mean, have you ever heard such a stupid promise? Imagine you have a million women, all of them their name is Susu, all of them they have the same voice, the same eyes, the same hair, and the same height, and the same name. Hur. So you say who are all of them the answer we are here okay if i sleep with one of them what is the what is the different all of them they look the same i mean it's a madness it's a stupid cult it's speaking for bedouin men trying to tempt them by sex and drinking wine a river of wine a river of wine I mean, okay what about make it a faucet don't you think it's too much like a river, a river of honey? How the honey will run in the in the in the in the heaven unless this heaven like hell? Because in order for honey to run to be a liquid, it have to be hot, very hot. Right? And look at this guy. The Jews killed Jesus. What well, Muhammad? He said that no, he did not kill Jesus. So which one you believe, Muhammad? Are you saying Muhammad is a liar? Methodos? Get out of here. The Jews, they said, he's a blood on us, but Jesus forgive them. He says, God, he said, Jesus, the Messiah, I am the, I am their God, I forgive them. And not only that, he said, Father, forgive them. They didn't know what they are doing. So your stupid argument is very, is very stupid, like your God. They love to divide us, to make us hate the Jews. They love to make the Christian fighting, the Catholic and Protestant. This is the devil, my friend. 
divide and conquer. Sp spreading the spirit is the spirit of hate, chapter 5, verse number 14. So this is why you Christians, you have a duty to be united. Never listen to anyone who divide us. Anyone who divide the Christians, he is serving the devil. He is not serving Jesus. The second you hear somebody dividing the Christians, he is serving the devil. And this, the devil is in the front of you. This is the teaching of the devil. The book of the devil. Christians should love everybody. So how about loving our brothers and sisters in Christ from any church? A true Christian shall not ask the other Christian the name of the church he go to. He shall ask him what you believe in. Do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe he is your savior? Do you believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit? This is the question we need to ask. Those are the questions need answers. Then we will know the person, not what the church you go to. We love everybody and we love the Muslims. So if we love the Muslims, how in the world do we want to hate the Jews? And you know, you Muslims, shame, shame on you. You want to hate the Jews, so do you hate, as we ask you, do you hate Mary? You say, no. Okay, Mary was a Jew. Do you hate Moses? No. Yeah, but Jew, Moses was a Jew. I mean, hypocrisy. And they spread hate. And this is what the Bible says, from their fruits you shall know them. All what they do is nothing but hate and violence. And if they try to refute somebody, they do video editing, they cut the words, they put them together to make you they're saying the, the fruit of the devil, the children of the baby of Satan. Isn't it? Aren't you ashamed even to do editing of a video to put words next to it and you make it somebody saying something he did not say? In order to fight you, they cannot refute you, they cannot debate you, they will try to make your reputation look bad. But look what happened. They attack me, but what happened is the opposite. More Muslims are coming to listen. They want to see who is this guy. They are saying he's a liar. Let me see. And more Muslims will leave Islam. And more Christians will support me. And actually, right now, I have from those who donate to me, people who they are ex-Muslims. Many of them, actually. And some of them, they left life on air. You know, you were a witness for them. So, uh, they cannot, they cannot face the truth, and the truth will set you free. A Muslim, he have to, to be a slave. You see what the Quran says about slavery. Allah, he created mankind for one reason, to be slaves. وَمَا خَلَقْتَ الْإِنسَ وَالْجِنِ إِلَّا لَيَعْبُدُوا My room is dark, so I cannot see the text. I have only created the genie and the men that only may serve me. Look at this, this, this lonely, stupid God. So what is the purpose of creating us to serve him? Serve him to do what? You are God, supposedly. To do what exactly? How we can serve you, sir? Aren't you God? Aren't you the one who say B is going to be? And by the way, the Muslim they say in the Quran says, Allah, if you want something to happen, he say be name for me one thing, Allah, he made it happen by saying be <laughs> stupid religion. So, my beloved family, I love you all. I apologize, really. I'm kind of tired. You can tell from my voice. And actually, I need to lay down a little bit. My back hurt. <clears throat> I was a uh, 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 doing some uh, uh, physique stuff, F physique, physical, physical actions. <clears throat> uh, so anyway, which is good, you know, uh, 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 health, uh, you know, staying, sitting long behind computer is not healthy. So you should always do some something like, uh, you know, uh, refresh your blood, do physical work. It's very good. <clears throat> So I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord really bless you. 
I pray that all of you uh, to be with good health and you and your family health is the most important thing and the most important thing in the health is health of the brain because what the benefit of a body is healthy but the brain is stupid that would be I mean really it's like a curse so I pray for your brain health to be vigilant smart nobody can fool you I pray that your brain will make you function the best way to be I pray that your brain will be used as the Lord he gave it to you as a gift to make you different from all kind of creation never take what people say to you without using your brain it doesn't matter who even me or anyone even the one you trust use your brain you have a gift and gift should be used and the brain is not used is going to be I mean it's going to die it's like a battery you don't use it by the time it dies, you have to recharge it again and again and the best way to recharge your brain study the Bible read the books and the Lord he said search the books find the truth and the truth will set you free so from my heart I say to you I pray that the truth will set you free all of you and that's what Jesus he want for us to be set free while Muhammad he want us to be slaves of Allah the Messiah he want to set you free this is why he said when these Jews speak about heaven they said this woman she would be the wife of who in heaven he said the Messiah he and she they will not get married they will be the same as angels many people don't think about it why same as we will not be angels but same as angels what does that mean that mean we will be free free from all needs all physical needs all illness tired all things we will be free the Messiah he free you my friend he free your heart from hatred which is killing you like poison he free your heart from memory which is breaking your heart he free your heart by forgiveness so you will be free from the chain of hate and revenge he free your heart by the wisdom and love he free your heart in heaven for he make you free like angels nothing like the Lord nothing like his wisdom God is not a pimp who promised me women God who want to give me women he must be the devil nothing wrong with men and women but even God when he created Adam he created one Eve women never should be even considered to be a toy so we will have too many of them that is a filthy even way of thinking this is cannot be from God May the Lord be with you and until I see you maybe tomorrow I think we will see each other tomorrow God is willing and by then we will learn more stuff and if you have a question for me I will be happy to answer you actually tomorrow I'm thinking to take calls from Christians but we will not take too many I mean maybe we'll take like because we will not stay for many hours so we will make time for Christians to call uh, because I promised before uh, somebody he called me from Nigeria I think he asked me if I can do that and I promised I would do it maybe once a week or etc so tomorrow I'm thinking to take calls from Christians um, and I will be happy to have a, some nice conversation with the followers of the Messiah thank you Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon again bye bye